Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we will be checking out Cannon Brawl. This is a 2D action real-time strategy game with a focus on artillery gameplay similar to the Worms games where you're launching volleys of different types of weaponry at your opponent. Uh, this game is being developed by Turtle Sandbox and was actually featured at the PAX 10 during PAX Prime 2012. So I'm going to be showing you a bit of gameplay, I just want to give you guys a general idea of what, uh, what Cannon Brawl is all about. This is a really fun little game. Uh, if you like Worms style gameplay, I think there's a good chance you will really like this. Uh, we're going to pick a random map and we're just going to play against an AI opponent so we don't have to deal with levers or people disconnecting and all of that. Plus, this way I can take my time and go through the paces with you guys. Uh, so th there's currently five different pilots in the game. More are going to be added, as you can see by the, the black silhouettes here. But I unlocked these five pilots by playing through the campaign. Uh, depending on the pilot you choose, you'll have different benefits. For example, the princess here, she gives 10% uh, reduced cooldown timers. The prince heals buildings in his vicinity. Uh, the minion here uh, in does increase damage to terrain, allows you to break through terrain easier. Uh, the king generates a shield around his airship every 15 seconds, and you can use that shield to deflect incoming projectiles. And then the min min minionette, minionette uh, this, this one actually allows you to freeze enemy buildings every 30 seconds. Now that sounds like a fantastic ability to have, uh, but that requires you to move your airship towards the enemy, and for that reason, I'm not going to pick him. We're going to go with, um, I actually like the princess. I like the 10% reduced cooldown, so we're going to go with her here for this particular battle. And now we get to pick the type of uh, the type of buildings that we want, the type of weapons and defenses that we want. You've got a total of five slots. Uh, one of them is your ability to increase your territory, which allows you to place more down down more buildings. And you've got the basic territory balloon, which costs 20 gold, or you can pick up this accelerator, which actually reduces the cooldown of uh, buildings within that vicinity. Or you can get this build uh, platform, which it does the same thing. Both of these count as balloons and increase your territory. Uh, the platform allows you to place things on the platform. I like the accelerator, so we're gonna pick that. It costs more though, so sometimes it's better to just go with the base balloon. And not do um, and not do either one of these, which costs uh, quite a bit more, ten extra gold. But I'm going to pick the accelerator here, and then we also we need a mining camp. Mining camp is how you get resources within the game. And then I'm just going to pick a, a couple of my favorite towers. Um, we're going to go with the shield tower, the hmm, well the shield tower, the missile tower, and then the laser tower. So these are going to be my towers of choice. We'll take a look at the other towers as we do subsequent playthroughs here. So the end goal is to eliminate your opponent's fortress, their castle, something like that. It's got a specific name, but your opponent's HQ, there we go. So what I'm doing here is my airship, which is being controlled by the pilot that I picked, the commander that I picked, um, I, I, you have to use this to place down your buildings. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing down a couple of, uh, of these mining camps, which are, allow, are allowing me to pick up gold, and you're going to notice it says plus 155 gold a minute based on the camps that I currently have. The next building that I'm going to place down is going to be one of these laser towers once I get 70. There we go place down the laser tower and then I command it and I'm going to use the laser tower to break through to that little extra mining there now those diamond mines give you more increased resource than the gold mines so those are really nice to have and we're going to go ahead and place down a mine there on the diamond slot and fantastic now my opponent right now you're going to notice that little yellow bar above my mining camp here he's actually using a bank uh, the banks increase your gold collection rate, but they also allow you to bribe opponent buildings, which is exactly what he's doing. Uh, he's trying to steal my building from me, essentially, is what it comes down to. Uh, and now, if he does that, he will gain control of the building. Now, I can stop that by destroying his banks, or if he gains control of the building, I can then just destroy my own building. You know, it's sort of one or the other. Um, so I'm going to pick up another laser tower here, and I'm going to place that one right here. And he just about has my bank now, unfortunately. Let's see if we can do anything about that. Hopefully I can destroy his banks before he steals my... Yes! I destroyed all of his banks before he was able to uh, before he was able to actually convert it. So fantastic, we're looking good. Uh, I'm gonna set up one of these missile launchers here now. These are really, really good. Uh, it, it puts down a... Oh, he actually just stole my mining camp. Okay. This one calls down a... Uh, 
multiple missiles that's really good for destroying shields. So since he stole my camp, I want to kill it so that I can rebuild it. So we're going to attack it with both my things, kill it, and then just rebuild it. And there you go. That's what you can do. Okay, so you can also upgrade your different uh, weapons. You can see every time I go over one of these, I can either gain control of it to, to fire it, or, or I can also upgrade it with Y, and upgrading it is just gonna make it better, as you assume. And now my goal, now that we have uh, this laser right here is actually, I'm gonna sell this one. It's not a good spot for it, it's too low. It was good before, but right now it's not gonna do me much good. Um, so at this point, what I'm, my goal is, is just continue to attack my opponent's buildings with the ultimate goal of taking out his HQ and try to pick up more mining camps. Now, as you can see, I'm actually doing incredibly well right now. Uh, so maybe in the next round, we'll increase the AI's difficulty uh, because I think we're set to medium right now and clearly. All right, so I'm going to use these missiles to break through the shields. The lasers bounce off the shields. So, oh, shoot, I'm attacking my own building. Um, it's going to pass through it, though. Um... The only thing you really have to be concerned about, you can't damage your own buildings, but you can uh, definitely destroy the ground underneath your building, causing it to fall, which will which will destroy it. So, okay, and we're just gonna continue to take out all of his mining capabilities, and why don't we also actually pick up another one of these towers, and we're gonna place it right here. And this is pretty much an easy win at this point. So yeah, you've got your various towers. Uh, they've got all sorts of different capabilities. You can upgrade them three times, uh, making them more effective every time, longer range, things like that. Uh, for example, I got a, I've got a, another upgrade available to this thing over here. And I could just be going straight for his HQ right now with my lasers, but I'm kind of choosing just to take out his buildings instead. And why don't we um, increase my territory up here so we can put some stuff on the high ground as well. So right now at this point, I could get one of these on the high ground, which will allow me to rain down from up top. And the accelerators, when they connect to a building is when they are increasing its cooldown. Uh, they don't connect to some buildings though for some reason. I don't know, I honestly don't know the parameters for that. I've played this game for about three hours now. I completely put, played through the entirety of the campaign and I'm still not sure if there's like a special way that you're supposed to connect these. It's It happens automatically, but I don't know. It. I don't know, to be honest with you. All right, so we're about to destroy his HQ. I think we got it right here with this barrage. There we go. So there we go. We have defeated the opponent. Uh, clearly that medium difficulty wasn't much of a challenge. So we're going to do another round. We will increase the difficulty and we will try some new weapons. This is a really, really, really fun game. Like I, I, I was, I was looking at it before I, before I picked it up, and I said, oh, you know, it's like worms, and you, you place down your buildings. That's a cool idea. Uh, but last night, right before I went to bed, I decided I'd play it a little bit. I usually like to play a game when I'm about to review a game or cover a game. Excuse me, I don't mean to use the word review. When I'm going to cover a game, usually the night before, I like to play it a little bit just to familiarize myself with it. And uh, I sat down to play this last night, and all of a sudden, two hours passed. I just kept playing. I, I, I was match after match after match. It's just very addictive and entertaining gameplay. Uh, so let's increase the AI's difficulty too hard. And why don't we go with... Um, why don't we go with the healing? We're gonna try the prince now, so he's the one who can heal my near, nearby buildings. And we got the accelerator last time. We're just gonna stick with the balloons this time, which is your base. You actually can't select it. It just default starts in balloon, and if you pick the platform, it will replace it. But if you get rid of the platform, that goes back. Or if you pick the accelerator, it'll replace it. We're gonna stick with the regular balloons, so they only cost 10. We need a mining camp. You don't have a choice in that uh, regard. And let's pick some different things here. So I'm gonna get a a shield tower. I don't know if I got that last round. I didn't use it. So we're going to get the shield tower. Now that's you can use that to shield your buildings. And then we can also get hmm, let's get the warhead. This is an interesting one. And we'll put that in our fifth slot. Um our fourth slot, well we need a basic attack. So we've got let me well, let me just go over these. So we've got a basic cannon. This is just a regular old one single shot thing. Uh demolisher camp. These are good. They they you fire a missile, when it lands on the ground, it starts walking, and it walks right through shields, so that's good at avoiding shields. Actually, that might be a good one to have. Yeah, why don't we get rid of the... We're going to get rid of the shield. We're going to get rid of the shield tower. We're going to pick up the demolisher camp, and then we will also pick up... Um, 
we can get the drill tower, which is good for drilling through ground. It, it doesn't do a lot of damage though. And we can get the warhead. This is a very eclectic mix. This isn't actually, this doesn't seem like it's going to be that great of a combination, but we're going to give it a shot. Hopefully I don't get destroyed since we are against a uh, hard AI now. I'm actually a little bit concerned to be honest with you, but we'll see what happens. All right, so I expand my territory. We place down the mining camps. And then I want to get through to that middle section there. So we're going to place down a drill first. That's going to be really good at breaking through that and allowing me to get myself some more monies. Okay, so mission accomplished. Now we just collect money and the next thing we will probably set up is this demolisher camp here. Once we get 60, which will be in just one second. There we go. Gonna set this demolisher camp. So it walks right through shields. I don't even know if he has shields. Yes, he does. So we're going to land it right in front of that shield. And then it's going to walk right through it and do damage beyond it. Really, really cool little thing. And then we can drop down a warhead. A warhead is a single use item. Uh, it counts down. And then once the time is up, you can toss it at a single target. That it's That is a very cool one. I really like that one. I'm gonna drop this one up. We're gonna increase, uh, we're gonna upgrade this tower. Oh no, I, I, oh man, when I upgraded, it increased the range. And so it ended up hitting the shield instead of walking through it. It needs to land on the ground before it gets the shield in order to walk through it. So that was a huge bummer. All right, so we're gonna do this and then we're gonna try this again. We're gonna drop it so that it can walk through the shield. There we go, just like that. And that's going to walk through, and that is upgraded three times, so that is going to do a lot of damage. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. And then our drill tower. Hopefully, yeah, his shield's not going to be up, so we're going to send our drill tower through here. And oh no, he's about to hit me with one of those warheads. Um, I'm in trouble. Yep, he hit me with the warhead. That did a heck of a lot of damage. Uh, he's got another warhead coming as well. Oh, no. All right, we're going to place down a warhead ourselves. I told you guys, this is not a good mix of things. Um, let's see if we can hit that with the drill tower do some damage. That was not a lot of damage. Wow. <laughs> oh, man, those warheads really hurt. This is... Man, this is such a bad mix. Oh, well. It's what I have, so we got to stick with it. All right. I'm going to put that right there. Um, gonna go with this, and then gonna drop one of these, and that should be enough to kill that frontal tower. Though he's got another warhead coming. Can I hit his warhead with mine? No, I cannot. So I don't have the reason I said this isn't very good is because I don't have any. Oh, he's going for my mining camp. That's fine. Um. I'm okay with him going for my mining camp because I can easily replace it. What, it st what stinks is when he goes for my main building here, which he just hit very hard. Um, oh, this is not going so well. Why, 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 why did I pick a crappy building composition for the sake of showing you guys stuff? What a terrible idea. <laughs> All right, I got another one of these. Drop another warhead and pick this up right here. And then we got another mining camp because he just destroyed our last one. I'm going to wait till he hits this though. Oh no, I lost my territory. our territory back in order to accomplish anything here. Good lord. This is going awfully. Okay, here we go. I think we should be able to get that. Oh no, his territory finally expanded. Gonna have to use these 
things, which are terrible at doing the job I want them to do. And I don't know. Get some more warheads or something? Oh my lord. This is going to be a loss, guys. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we're losing everything. We are losing everything. He's hitting our main base. I'm gonna destroy it. He just hit... Mm. So, you just saw a great example of how not to build... Just, you just saw a great example of what not to do. I guess that's all I can really say. Is this thing ready to launch? Yeah, let's do this. I just need to, I think, continue to hit those things. Ooh, I can take that. I can take the, uh, this mining camp. Oh, of course that... That timing was perfect. All right, let's go for that right there. Take this right here. And, I mean, who, yeah, this is pretty much impossible. I was just gonna say who knows, but I know, it's over. That's a real bummer. Well, I'm gonna make sure I don't do that again. So my problem is I don't have any really good direct damage hitters. That was my... Let's let's just restart it, I guess. Here we go. Uh, we'll stick with the... No, forget the Prince. No, and forget this landscape, actually. Let's try a new one. We're gonna go with this one, and I will then pick... Um, let's pick the King with his shield. He's actually kind of neat. Okay, so we want to show you some new stuff, but make sure it doesn't suck. That's a good idea. Let's get the... <laughs> We're gonna stick with the, um, now let's get the accelerator. And then of course we need the mining camp. Uh, and then some good basic buildings. We can go with a regular old cannon tower. We can go with, I'd actually like to go, I don't like the driller too much. Um, so we've got the cannon tower. I, I am playing as the king. Why don't we get a, I need two really good offensive things. I was going to say a bank and a healing tower. Why don't we... No healing tower, so we don't really have any healing here. Losing our buildings. We don't have any shields or healing here, but we can go with the regular tower, the missile tower, and the bank. Why don't we try that? I think that's a pretty cool... That's a pretty cool combination there. Okay. So. First things first. We get ourselves set up with some mining camps. Going a little slow here, because I picked up the wrong uh, thing to start. And then, 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 then from here, we could go basic tower. I want to use this to destroy here. This might need two of them though. Yeah, it's gonna need two shots, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit more time. And then I think I'm gonna pick pick up a bank and try to start stealing stuff. I think that that will be my plan. Okay, here we go. So the bank, the bank, the bank. Let's put the bank, we can put it anywhere, we'll put it right there. And then we start our influence, our bribe. I'm gonna try to take that drill tower. And then I'm also going to try to blow this up. So we're gonna go, oh, it needs to be upgraded to go through there. That's still not even close to enough. Okay, so we're gonna keep on bribing. And we do lose gold during a bribe, I guess as you would assume. But taking buildings are pretty cool. I mean, I think I think it's all right. I mean, honestly, it's not, it doesn't seem like the best, um, it doesn't seem like the best thing in the world, but oh, you know what? Forget. I was all 
thinking I would just bribe it, but I think I might just destroy it, to be honest with you. So why don't we try to bribe? I'm gonna try to bribe one of the mines. That might be a better idea. He's about to, yeah, he dropped to the that mine right there. He's probably going to drop this mine up here as well. But he's running out of, um... He's running out of, uh, offensive towers, because I've been destroying a lot of his, so... I need to get rid of that. But yeah, we're just going to keep trying to bribe that thing. I guess that's all there is to say about it. And I need to destroy his healing tower, which he dropped down. There we go. Um, what the heck is that noise? Oh, he's got another healing tower over there. Are you serious? So with the healing towers, kind of have to hit them. Because they heal. Derp. So, uh, but... No, what I was trying to say is that with the healing towers, you gotta hit something at least twice or three times, depending on its uh, HP. Because uh, otherwise, he's just gonna... He's just gonna heal right through it, so... There we go. Let's see if we get that. And then we'll hit the healing tower with this. I think this round's going okay. It's not the greatest, but... He's gonna hit that. Oh, he didn't go all the way through. That's good. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think we're actually doing... I think we got... I think we got this game, guys. I think we have this particular match. Kind of forgot that I was doing the bribery thing, but whatever. Yeah, maybe at the end of the day, the bribery stuff isn't the greatest. Um, because... You lose money, it takes time, and maybe it'd be better to just destroy it. Now, I have played multiplayer matches. A lot of them, like I mentioned at the start, a lot of them just don't f go through. They don't finish because people leave and stuff. But um, in the matches that I have been able to play and, like, finish, I see people pretty much using lasers, the artillery strike, and... I guess that's kind of about it, honestly. Laser, well, no, not that, not that's it. Lasers, the artillery strike, the shield, and that's like sort of the primary things that I've been seeing from people. But let's hit up his castle, because that is that. And then I guess that will kind of do it. Um, yeah, so this is Cannon Brawl. Really fun little title. It's available right now for Steam Early Access. The game is not complete. Uh, as I mentioned, there's only five pilots you can choose from at the moment, but more are planned. Uh, the game also has the 14 different weapons. Uh, there is a single player campaign, which I played through in the course of, I want to say maybe three hours is, was the, the total length that it took me. It wasn't very long. Um, but that, that's how the campaign is at the moment. Uh, most of the enjoyment from this game is going to come from multiplayer playing against either just skirmish matches like you just saw me play against the AI or playing against other people. Uh, but I think Cannon Brawl is a lot of fun. I really have been enjoying playing it as a small little title. Um, just a fun little thing to do with other people, a competitive little game. I think it's a good time. So it's available for Steam Early Access for $9.99. There's actually a 10% discount at the moment lasting for the next few days. So you can get it for just a little bit cheaper as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, Force checking out Cannon Brawl. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.